Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be making a journal because I just really, really feel like making one. Um, but I'm going to start off with the paper um, for the journal because um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for the cover yet. I know I want to have a fabric cover, but I need to just figure that out. But I've already started on the paper and it's all right here. And I already did, this is one signature, so I'll show you how I did that. I have, oops, so for the pages, I have these um, pieces of scrapbook paper that I hate. I don't like the patterns on these papers. Um, these just came in like a set of scrapbook paper that I bought because there were some pages in there that I really liked, but these ones I hated. But I don't just want to throw them away, so decided that I'm finally going to use them and what I'm doing is painting the the pattern side leaving the white side even though it has like, a sticker that'll that'll get covered up but I'm covering um, the pattern side as you can see just um, which I will do and I want the edges to be kind of rough I want this torn look just because all my journals have, you know, straight cut edges and I wanted something different. And I saw that Jenny Belly had a journal with pages that were, um, that were ripped like this. So I wanted to do that too. So what I'm doing is I was originally going to cut the paper right here and not have it looking all ripped, but I decided I wanted to rip. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this metal um, metal ruler, putting it to the edge at like half an inch, and then ripping. And then I have a ripped edge. And if sometimes if they're like really too straight, I'll, you know, go back and just kind of rip it up, make it look a little better. But yeah, I'm going to just do this to all of my scrapbook paper, and then I will be back. So I'm finished um, ripping all the edges on my paper. Now I'm just going to go throw all of this away, and then I'm going to paint the paper. To paint um, the paper, I'm going to be using this tempera paint because I just I have a ton of it, <laughs> and probably some gesso as well. And I'm just going to do like two coats on each. So I just I want to, to gesso the pages before I put them in the journal. So yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back. So I painted all my paper and dried it with a hoot, a hoot gun, a heat gun, and um, put like three coats, and you can still see some of the pattern underneath, and I like that. I, I don't mind that some of it's showing through. In fact, I wanted that. But this is obviously not a step that you have to do. You don't have to buy pattern paper and then cover it up. You could just buy paper and, you know, rip the edges if you want, but I just... I enjoyed the process of painting the paper. It was just, I felt like just painting stuff, and it was a good way for me to use paper that I don't want. So I'm just throwing it away, I might as well use it. Because it is acid free paper and it's a good size and everything. So now I'm going to fold them in half, and I have 19 pieces of paper here, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have two signatures or three signatures, but I will figure that out later. But now I'm just gonna fold them in half. Okay, I don't think I like how long the pages are. It's just kind of awkward. I think I'm going to take maybe an inch or an inch and a half 
off the bottom. I'm going to try because, I don't know, I don't... It's just kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah, this is a much better size. It's not as awkward. And they're 10 inches long before they were like 12. So, yeah, I like this one. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on the cover. And I'm going to do a material cover. And I'm going to use my sewing machine to sew it all together. And today is my first day actually using it. And I just did like my first stitches. <laughs> but, yeah. So I am going to figure out what material I want to use. I just want to like pile material on top of material on top of material. So yeah, I'm going to get started on that and then I'll start sewing. So it's kind of hard for me to show myself sewing because my, my camera is right above my sewing machine. So it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but I just show, sewed a hem right here and I'm just going to keep on sewing things on top of this. This is going to be the front. Um, it's going to be like that. And yeah, I'm probably going to hem. Or I don't know, I'm just going to keep on adding material. I want some lace and stuff and see what happens. So I sewed the cover. And this is like the base. <laughs> This sewing machine is so cool. It's so much faster than sewing by hand. So yeah, this is you know, the right size and everything. But now I think I want to add some lace to the cover because I really like lace. Okay, so now I have a better view angle, um, so you guys can see what I'm doing, because from uh, an above view, you can't see what I'm doing. So here's what the journal looks like. This is, what's, bleh. <laughs> this is what it looks like right now. And I just, you know, I had the material, I sewed on some lace to the bottom, and then I just sewed some um, ribbon here. And I want to sew this here. Sorry, it's hard to see. This is a weird angle. This here. Um, I just I'm gonna keep sewing stuff on here. More ribbon. I want it to kind of look messy. I see fabric cover journals on Pinterest, and it's kind of what I'm going for. Like really, just things are everywhere, and it's looking kind of I don't know. And then I have the little um, key that I uh, stamp that I did on some material. And I'm going to put that somewhere. Ooh, I like it right there, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep sewing. Because it, it, it needs more. This isn't enough. It needs more. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep sewing.
Okay, so I wanted another stamp like my little key here, but I didn't want to do it on material, so I did it on this canvas paper, and it's a little elephant. It's a stamp that my sister got me because I love elephants. And then I'm just going to sew these, I mean, sew the elephant onto these pieces of material. It's four pieces of material just stacked on top of each other so that I have like some cool texture, and I'm just going to sew that on here or there, or in the middle, maybe over here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, because I think an elephant would look really cute on here. journal cover is looking a little crazy right now. <laughs> um, I kind of wish I hadn't added this ribbon. I don't know. That's what I was going for, so we're going to roll with it. I don't know. I don't know if I did too much or what, but <laughs> of like different kinds of material. But we're going to go with it. I actually, I like this part of it. But I think I want to add some buttons on here, and I have a whole bunch of buttons. Maybe that'll just like finish it off. I don't know. So we will see, but I'm going to try to put some buttons on here. I really think the buttons added a lot to the journal. I really like the buttons there, but I want one more thing on the cover, and I'm going to try to make a flower. Now I have this um, circle piece of fabric that I cut out, and I just learned how to do this on Pinterest, so let's see how it works. Um, I'm going to be hand stitching, and you just are going to stitch all around the circle, bringing in the edges. So I'll just speed up this part and I'm just going to be sewing the edges all around the circle. kind of not neat about it, but I didn't think that you would need to be. So now, you just pull the string, that was super easy, and I have this little cute flower, and I found this little I don't think these are buttons, um, I don't know what these things are called, but to put into the middle my flower, and now I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. Ah, 
So yeah, I'm going to figure that out. So I decided to make another little flower because I think they're super cute and they were super easy. I don't know where to put it. But I'm just, I just glued on a button in the middle and then I'm just sewing a little bit on the flower to the, to the journal itself. Just like going through the back and then just making a couple of stitches to attach it to the journal. But I don't know where I want to put it. Okay, to finish off the journal cover, I need to just put some material on the inside of the cover because it's looking kind of not nice. Um, I'm thinking this material, because I like it, but I don't know. I'll figure it out and then just sew around the edges and then I'll be done with the journal cover. Okay, let's get the binding done in this book so that I can be done with it. <laughs> the inside of this cover was a challenge because I tried three different things and neither of them worked, like to decorate the inside, so I finally fixed it and now I have this pretty yellow material on here. <laughs> but yeah, tried three things and they didn't work. But now I'm going to put these into the book. I'm just going to mark, I have three signatures I'm gonna mark on the spine where I want them to go. I have three holes. Marked, and so I'm just gonna go through the inside and start at the first hole. You know, bring it around, come through the second, go through the third, and then come back out to the middle. And you'll see me do it right now, but yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. signatures could have been closer together but I mean, it's not a big deal very very easy binding um, three signatures there's the cover of the journal and I wanted to say that almost everything that I made this journal out of I already had or uh, it was like recycling something so I didn't go out to buy anything to make this the paper was some scrapbook paper I already had that I didn't like that I just, you know, painted over. Um, the, this yellow material is from a dress. I just cut it up. Um, these, this ribbon I already had. This piece right here was from a dress. This was, these blue pieces of material were from a skirt. Um, this material I got a long time ago. This is some lace my grandma gave me. Um, the buttons, I just, I bought a bunch of buttons at a Goodwill a long time ago. But this is stuff that I already had and didn't go and buy stuff to make this. But yeah, I just thought I would say that. You don't need to, you could probably make a journal out of stuff that you already own and make it look nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.